Hello, this is a look at Windex Mint 18 XFCE. When opening your computer, you will see this welcome screen. Here you can find it more about the Linux Mint. Here's the documentation, forums, apps, how to install apps, a chat room. Additional drivers which your computer might need. How to get involved with Linux Mint. Installing multimeter codecs easily and simple. And if you want to donate to this great project, please feel welcome. If you want to see this welcome sc welcoming screen every time when booting up, then keep this box tick. If not, untick it. In the bottom panel, you will see the time, updates. You can choose if you want the updates to not break your computer, open or optimize stability and security, and or always update everything. In this which you will say don't break my computer if you just want to work and have the assurance that your computer will just run. So okay. Do you want to switch to a local mirror? This will make your updates much faster. So let's say okay. Then type your password. And here you can see all the different mirrors close to you. Clearly for me, Yandex team is the best, so I will say apply. And I will look here. And I will choose this. It will be different for every person depending on what part of the world you are. I am based in St. Petersburg, Russia, so that's why the Russian mirrors is the best for me. Here you can look a bit more at all the options. And say update sketch. Let's do it. Now let's close this. You can install all. You can install all the updates by clicking Install Updates and just run the process. I will not do it in this moment because it will take too much time. Yes, our volume control, internet connection. If you look at the panel, you can have. About XFCE4 panel 4120 is the panel. Yeah, lock. Yeah, it will give you the options to lock it, restart, shut down, suspend, or hibernate your system. Panel preference, preferences. Here you can add and let's add the panel. And you can edit this panel, change that you want, but I'm just going to delete it right now again. And you can add new items. 
do you better? Like clocks, weather, system load monitor, workspace switcher, all this fun stuff. You can remove this panel, you can move this panel, and you can go to the properties of this panel. Okay, let's go to the next part of this operating system, the file manager. Let's open it up. It's the Funer 1.6.10. Let's look around. To show hidden folders, files. Yeah, it's pretty neat, pretty stable, pretty obvious. That's all you need. The terminal, it's, yeah, you can see the name. Firefox. Let's see what version of Firefox it is. Firefox 47. This button minimizes all open windows and show the desktop. Let's open the Firefox again just to show it how it show how it works. Pretty simple, basic, and works as it should. If you go to the menu bar, we have all your favorites recently used, all accessories, graphics, internet, multimedia. Office, Library Office, Settings, System. Let's go back to Library Office, see what version of Library Office it is. Let's take this away. I like, I do like the icons. Looks professional. And it's Version 5.1.22. Let's go to the system settings. As you see, it's hotkeys. Well, there's at least one hotkey to make it big. Appearances. Here you can customize your the view of your computer, the look of it, desktop, some nice backgrounds, choose from, let's choose, I like this one, no, I like this one, desktop settings, file manager, means the file system of the computer, Notifications, here you can turn theme, you can change the theme of the notifications, you can change the default position, how long it will be there, you can customize it as you want, about the panels, preferred applications, Firefox, Thunderbird, File Manager, Terminal, Bluetooth, don't have any Bluetooth on my computer, display, here you can change resolutions and if you have a projector connected you can change and configure there. Some keyboard settings, mouse and track touchpad settings, 
want you change the power manager and power settings in your computer and how your computer react to remove remove removable devices and media configure as the accessibility install additional drivers configure firewall change the input method languages if you need one, more than one language languages if you want to change system of your language the region all this good stuff locking window if you want to if you want to change or edit your logging window as you want to make it look and feel beautiful for you use your mom tab editor lot of settings to look at and play with if needed session and startup general this feels like a very well laid operating system that will be very easy to use use software manager yeah you can install programs easily let's go to games yeah, you can install board games or even Minecraft if you want to oh sorry or mine or even Steam it's pretty straightforward and many programs to install software sources we saw that during the updates after the manager we also spent some time there previously in settings editor you can change the settings if needed for your computer and here you can add switch users I only have one user on this computer hmm. with some wallpapers background screensavers so sorry so you can change and add if you right click on the screen you can open your window you can create launcher let's create a launcher for firefox I always like to do that Let's try to open up. Yes, works like it should. If you want to create a URL link like icon for a specific website like Facebook or other sites, create folder, create document, open terminal. It opens the directory which you are in inside the terminal very easy for moving around open this route create a link for the desktop you can make links and then you can move it around into different folders search let's say for the and then find the new folder. Mm, arrange desktop icons, desktop settings, we've already been here, and properties. Yes, thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoyed the video, and I really hope that you will enjoy. It's operating system. Thank you for watching.